Peace, everybody. You tuned in right now. This is uh, Jamal Crawford, Blackstonian.org. Uh, as everybody knows, we've been putting together this community curriculum, and uh, we're trying to put together a collection, like a curated collection for your kids. Kids of all ages and not, not, uh, not for nothing, too. The parents, hopefully, are going to learn something in all this, too. So uh, in order to do that, we are depending on the expertise of the various people in our community, and right now I am honored to have on the line none other than uh, Leonard and Clarissa, the owners okay. of Frugal Bookstore down uh, Dudley, or what was formerly Dudley, and now Nubian Square, Frugal Bookstore. Lenny and Clarissa, how are you doing? We I'm are well, doing. brother. <laughs> yes, we are. We are We are fine. We are uh truly right now uh we're overly joyed um and uh we're we're, we're good we're we're good thank you how you doing good i'm holding up and and hopefully what we're we're doing right now will be a benefit to the community now when it comes to me trying to put forth something like this a community curriculum for the people you know uh, a lot of people say oh jamal you're smart but, you know, it doesn't happen by myself. And so if now I'm trying to deal with book recommendations for parents, who better than to go to but the book experts at Frugal Bookstore, right? So right. I can do off the top of my head, I can recommend Anansi because that's what I grew up on. But after that, I tap out. So we want to get on some recommendations for parents who are home. We know that there's a lot of single mothers. There's a lot of fathers as well, a lot of couples raising their children. We're all stuck at home right now. So if you could give us some good recommendations and just break down your recommendations, basically, you know, by age or what might be better for girls or boys or ages or grades or what have you. Y'all are the experts. Tell us, tell us what black families should be doing for their children right now. You want to go first, Clarissa? I'll go first. So, yes, uh, black families and all families, you know, just reading um, every day, um, we we know that you know the power of reading is and, and literacy is very important um, with our children and all children. So just reading, uh, whether it's 15, 20, 25 minutes a day, uh, just really getting it in um, because it helps build you know uh, the fluency. It helps build the vocabulary, um, and it, it really truly. Um, Books take you places, take you on adventures and things like that. So uh, just reading every day and reading a little bit of everything is helpful. Uh, so I'll start off with, um, I guess, the, the preschool age, maybe like the toddler uh, um, and preschool age, so two to about four years of age, I would say. Um, one of my favorite books um, is uh, Please Baby Please um, by Spike Lee. Uh, it's a book that I, I've read to our son um, numerous times. He had the board book, and he would kind of like chew on the corners of it. Um, but this book is, is, a, is a great book. It's funny. It's uh, relatable, and uh, it's a really good book uh, for parents to uh, read to their children. There's not a lot of words on it, uh, it's more you know the illustration, um, but it, it, it's a really fun book for families. Uh, so please, baby, please. Uh, the next book I would recommend is, um, and and so please, baby, please is a book for both boys and girls. Um, the second book is I Love My Hair uh, by Tasha Tarpley. Uh, it's it's a book for little girls, uh, young girls um, who you know really just shows like how to pre appreciate being you like love yourself even at that young of an age right so we know for black women um, our hair is means a lot right like our styles how we wear it and there's a lot of emphasis um, put on our on our hair so I love my hair is a good inspirational book uh, for, for for little girls um, and the third book uh, this will be a book for boys I um, recommend is um, it is called Chocolate Me by Tay Diggs. I think it's a book that um, 
it's inspiring. You know, he talks about loving um, yourself, your dark skin, your brown skin, and it, it really promotes um, identity and it promotes, uh, you know, it's an inspirational book that promotes self-image. Uh, so I think that's a fun book um, for families to read. So um, those three books I recommend for, like, that preschool age. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I have a, a preschool book also that I think, is uh it's it's a newer title it's the author's name is um Derek Barnes it's been out for a couple of years now but when i first uh saw it got introduced to this book i read it it, it automatically took me back to my days down derby park when we would go to um i can't remember the name of the barbershop right now right on Charlotte Ave and we would get our hair cut because of progressives. That's the name of it. And they used to sell eggs in there. The name of the book, the book is called Clown, and it's an ode to the fresh cut. And throughout the book, it's, it tells about how, you know, weekly this, this young boy would go with his father to get their hair cut. And it automatically um, brings you into that, that atmosphere of, um, everybody talking. You learn everybody's business. You might get a little tidbit on this, that, or the other when you're sitting there at a barbershop. And that's missing nowadays with, with a lot of fathers and sons going to the barbershop. You know, so that, that's one young reader or a primary school book, I should say, um, that I think a lot of parents should read. It, it helps with bonding, and it, and it helps with passing down the culture that a lot of it's missing nowadays with us and our children. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, and, and what you got What you got up next? I know you said you have a list, right? You have a list, like 25 joints. Oh, I got a, I got a big old list here, a recommendation of African-American children's books. Um, next, you have um, Just Us Women. Just Us Women is by Jeanette King. It's a story about a, a, a young sister and her auntie who, you know, they go, she likes to hang out with her auntie. Just like in the other story, the boy used to hang out with his father. So she likes to hang out with her auntie and they just drive around wherever they go going, to the market, to, you know, to, to the cleaner, to the laundromat. And she just gets this well of information from her auntie. You know, and, and it, it, it's called Just Us Women. So it's it's another story about um, sisters, older sisters passing down the culture to our younger sister. Um, let me see here. Another intermediate one. Uh, let's see here. Dippity Bop Bombershot. It's a, it, that one really talks about the um the ne- the necessity of of loving your hair as well it's a companion to uh, i love my hair but for the boys you know and and how um talks about the textures and, and just hanging out in the barbershop you know so I, I think those those three there i would say are tops for me but i have a Big old list here that I'm willing to share um, for anyone who's interested in getting um, some of these books that are highly recommended for our young folks to read. Okay, and let's do this. And and if I could, just let's do this because I want to make sure for all of our people. What is the best way right now? Because what we're striving to do with all of the families that we're bringing in you know, uh, not just black, but Latino as well, uh, you know, um, and every other, you know, you know how many things we got going on in Boston, uh, you know. Look, even white people too, right? Um, But what I want to know is what is the best way to get in contact with you during this crisis? Like if if we say people want to order, how should they be doing that? Should they be doing that via email, phone, what? Give me me the contact info. Well, you can order um, on our website which is frugalbookstore.net. You can place your order on there. Um, If you do not see 
a book that you're looking for, you can leave us a message that you're looking for this, a particular book, and we'll get right back to you, and uh, we'll research it, and we'll let you know um, if it's available mm-hmm. or not. When you say a message, also, there's a message link on the site, or that's an email? No, there's a message link on the site. We receive okay. it as an email, though. Okay. All right, good. And so get, you can email us at frugal underscore books dot com uh, frugal underscore so books is with an s so frugal underscore books at yahoo dot com so like Leonard said if if there's a title of their books that you don't see on our website uh, please send us an email um, we check our emails regularly you can give us a call uh, we're usually in the store so even though the store is closed Leonard is there every day um, Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., so you can uh, give us a call at 617-541-1722 with any questions um, that you have, any book requests that you have. Uh, But please call us, email us, or go to our website and um, place those orders. Um, We we love to hear from you. We love to get you the books that uh, we know that you guys are are looking for. Um, So those are the three best ways to, to get in contact with us. All right, beautiful. And now before we get off of here, because uh, we're really going to be pushing this. We're going to be encouraging families to order these books from you. Um, And now I know that, for instance, on my book list that I'm putting, you know, this is uh, for, let's say, young adults and teenagers, right? One of the biggest things that shaped my life when I was 10 years old, you know, I I read the autobiography of Malcolm X that was given to me by my big cousin, you know? Um, And right now we're hoping to introduce families to stuff like the autobiography of Malcolm X. So when we do that, we, of course, want them to buy that book from you, right? Um, But also, too, outside of classics like that that we know we're going to be asking for, um, also, too, do you have any recommendations for, like, young adults, not, not just the preschool and, the, you know, the, the young kids, but anything for kids that may be anywhere, I don't know, 10 to 13 or, you know, on into the, to the teenagers, up into the 17 and all this type of stuff? Any, some young adult recommendations? Well, there's one, one author that I've come to like, you know, like you said, I've read I read um, the autobiography of Malcolm X when I was a youngster as well. Um, there's a, a brother out right now, after he's an author, his name is Jason Reynolds. He seems to be taken, you know, I shouldn't say taken. He, should, he seems to be uh, right alongside uh, Walter D. Mighty, you know. So he has a set of books um, that are for that age range that you're speaking about. You know, he has this, um, like this, I don't know what you call it, Pastor Trilogy. It's like a four-book set about this, these, um, these young folks who run track. And each book is about one of the track stars on the team. You know, he has that. He has a book um, called All American Boys. And the, the beautiful thing about a lot of his writing is that he he kind of writes it for, especially for young people, you know, teenage, young teenage, I guess tweens, a little bit, a couple of ages above tweens, 13, 14 years old, somewhere around there. And he, he's been very, very good at connecting with these teens, bro. So I, I would recommend that author, Jason Reynolds. And I recommend for like the young, um, the young um, women, the young girls, uh, Renee Watson. She is yeah. uh, she's been around for a, a little while as well, and so she writes books for a range. So I would say her age range would be anywhere from maybe like ten to fifteen, sixteen. So her titles include uh, her her latest title, her newest title is called Ways to Make Sunshine. Um, that's her new title. She also has uh, a title, Some Places More Than Others. Uh, a coming of age book by her is called Piecing Me Together. Uh, another one is this side of home. So she she writes on you know just the experiences of growing up as you know young young ladies. Um, 
um, just all of that, coming of age, you know, the experiences that we have with our, our, our friends, with our families at school. Uh, there's so many different layers, you know, when we go through puberty and coming of age. So she, she definitely touches on a lot of those um, different um, those different layers and pieces throughout her books. So Renee Watson is um, is I, I highly recommend Renee Watson. She, she's a, she's on she's on Black Judy Bloom. <laughs> yeah, I would say that absolutely, absolutely. Okay. Now give me the last title because I got I got ways to make sunshine. Some places more than others piecing me together. What was the last one you said? The last one is this side of home. This side of home. All right. All right, well, this is a great start for folks, and, and, and as we said, you know, um, as y'all do recommendations, y'all have your own email list as well, so folks can go on that website too, join your own email list as well, get monthly updates from the bookstore themselves for everybody, you know, fun for the whole family type of stuff, right? Um, but also, too, for this specific project, I'm going to keep uh, leaning on y'all for your expertise with more recommendations because your bookstore has been a gathering place for reading groups, you know, the, the group from the library and other teachers and all this type of stuff. I would also like to connect with a lot of the teachers that you guys know because we should be doing, if I'm sure somebody already is, but we could be doing story time online. Let's use the technology. Let's use the community to make it happen. And I thank y'all so much, and I love y'all so much. We're going to blast this out there. Once again, y'all, Lenny and Clarissa from Frugal Bookstore. The website is frugalbookstore.net, all right? And y'all can get in contact with them. We're going to keep pumping this information out, all right? Thank you, all right. Thank all right, y'all have a good one. Yes, indeed. Peace. All right. Peace. Peace. Well.